Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 27th, 2021. Well, I hope you all had a good day yesterday in the market. The NASDAQ um, and the SPY eked out new record highs while the diamonds just had kind of a modest decline. So we have a big day of data today. And what does that mean for how we approach this market today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone. We had kind of a, well, an interesting day yesterday with an awful lot of sideways choppiness, but we did get the NASDAQ, the QQQ, and the SPY creeping up just enough to catch a new record high. But then um, at the end of the day, we saw just a little bit of selling coming into those indexes with the uncertainty of, you know, the big earnings uh, data that we will have today. So let's take a look at some of these technicals and see if we can figure out what we want to do for today. Well, first off, if we look at the diamonds, the diamonds are holding a very beautiful upside trend. And this consolidation in here, I have to say, is is bullish for the market. We, we can't seem to break down. Okay, we, the bears don't have enough teeth to uh, break us down. Although there's been, you know, those attempts to um, bring some fear in, those bulls are just too strong pushing us back up. So the longer we rest in here, probably the more and more bullish this becomes. However, we have so much data coming our way, we really have that potential that we could flip-flop either direction really, really quickly. And what I need to continue to point out is just the incredible risk that there could be because in between these two lines here, there's over 300 points in potential move. So that means that we could pop really easily, we could drop really easily, and really not harm the technicals of the chart. But it can be very, very harmful and very, very painful for your personal account. So kind of keep that in mind that we are in a bit of a dangerous situation here with the big whips that can occur. And um, it's not unlikely to see those kind of big whips occurring during earnings season. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY crept up there, made that new record high, and we're trying to press up this morning. It's kind of interesting this morning, um, Asian markets were mostly lower last night. European markets are lower across the board this morning, but not here in the US. It's all buy all the time, push, push, push. And we're trying to push the market up again this morning. So watch that carefully as we continue to stretch this index out. And I say stretch it out because we are a long ways away from a current upside trend. As a matter of fact, this is probably the best I can do for that because if I draw this trend, we're really stretched away from that trend. And let's also recognize that if we were to drop below this price level right in here, there's not a whole lot of support in this price support in this chart until we come all the way down to here. So that makes for a little bit of a dangerous situation. And once again, we have that big range in here where we could move quite a bit, adding some danger. So we have to be careful. And what I, what I suggest in a market like this is go ahead and stay with the trend, stay with the bullish trend because, hey, who knows how long this trend can last. But be careful not to overtrade. If we if we overtrade, if we press too hard, if we push too much, and we get that market stumble, it can be really really painful. How about the Qs? Well, the QQQ also eked out a new record high yesterday as we were trying to push back into some of the big techs um, in anticipation of these earnings reports. Once again, we have a bullish pattern here in the chart, but we also have a very extended condition overall. So we'll want to keep that in mind and just realize that if we were just to come back in here to test these supports, that's a pretty substantial pullback that could occur. We'll want to watch carefully for that. And once again, we're trying to press in the pre-market here 
um, trying to pump up heading into these um, big tech earnings reports later on today. So watch that carefully and closely. There is some risk here if you press too hard. So just be careful not to over trade. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM had really the best performance yesterday moving on through to the upside. We saw those financials trying to perk up a little bit. That helped a little bit. Let's take a look at XLF. Those financials trying to push up, but notice we saw that selling coming in right at the end of the day, uh, pushing back. And then we saw energies trying to gain a little ground yesterday as well that certainly helped out that IWM and provided that nice support in here. So we've broken back above this resistance level in the chart. I think that's a good sign for IWM. Now the question becomes, can we hold it as support? Can we hold in here and then continue to move on to the upside? Notice that we are stretched away from our trend a little bit and it wouldn't be out of the question that we would have to pull back or even consolidate long enough to come out here and engage that trend to move on higher. So be kind of watchful of that price action. Let's take a look at the VIX. I found this to be rather interesting yesterday um, as we were rallying in the market we also saw the VIX moving up. Now, I'm not sure what that means here, but there is some concern out here in the market, it seems, for the high prices that we have achieved here in these charts. And to see the VIX rallying um, on a day like yesterday was a little bit of a concern, but overall, we're still holding this downtrend and we are still below this resistance level in the chart. So I think we're in pretty good shape, but let's keep an eye on this. We don't want to become complacent and ignore um, that possibility of fear creeping in should we happen to stumble in the market. So watch that carefully and closely. As we range around in here um, with these whipsaws in the market, anything is possible. So just watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, yesterday we were pressing ourselves up here into um, rarefied air. We were way up here on T2122. And notice that when we reach up here, we typically find a reason to rest or pull back. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that we have to just collapse or fall. Um, unfortunately, this is kind of one of those all or nothing markets. Either we're racing in or we're running for the door. And so we have to be a little bit careful here um, to, in over trading um, with this condition. We are pretty darn elevated and it wouldn't take much of a stumble to bring in some sellers. So watch that carefully as we move along here but doesn't necessarily mean we can't go higher so if those earnings come in strong enough we could certainly continue to tick on higher or at a minimum kind of um, grind along here sideways which may be possible um, as we wait for the FOMC uh, data as well let's take a look at our T2101 now I gotta tell you guys we we picked up here in T2101 yet uh, oh one yesterday but not exactly impressive um, overall. So we still have this downtrend in play on our T2101. I'm not exactly sure what all this means. It, the market is acting oddly and maybe it's because we have attracted so much money to the market that some of these metrics aren't working quite like they uh, normally do. But um, keep a close eye on it. Um, this would suggest that we're a little bit sickly on um, the absolute breadth. And if that continues, that could um, bring in a bit of a problem. So um, just keep an eye on it. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar does have a few things that we'll wanna be paying attention to as we move along. Um, make note that we have Case Schiller here at nine o'clock. We have consumer confidence coming in here at um, 10 a.m. And of course, don't forget the fact that we are beginning the FOMC meeting today. 
um, we'll be getting that announcement tomorrow. You might want to take note that we've got some bond auctions. We've got a seven-year bond auction today. That might be interesting because we've got the 10 years um, creeping up the last couple of days. Um, 30 years also creeping up a little bit. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. That could become a problematic issue um, for stocks if bonds continue to rise. So watch that close. And then remember, guys, no matter what happens today, we have a high probability of some kind of a gap tomorrow because we have Google and we have Microsoft reporting after the bell today. So we could see, no matter what happens today, a big gap up, big gap down. The possibility does exist. So make sure you plan your risk carefully heading into the close of today. And then also remember, we've got the FOMC announcement tomorrow. So we could get that gap up or down in the morning lots of wild volatility around um, a big day of earnings in the morning and then just see that market kind of get stale and and die off um, into a choppy condition as we wait for that FOMC so it's just some thoughts and planning that you may want to be thinking about as we head forward and considering that risk carefully let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings are really starting to ramp up here and there is no way I can cover all the potential notable stocks that um, um, we'll be reporting um, and so what I'm going to suggest guys is you look just below the title of the video there's a link where you can click and that'll take you back to the morning blog where I've listed those notable stocks and let's take a look at a few of them I've already mentioned we're going to hear from Google and Alphabet um, um, today and um, those will be after the bell and we'll also hear from Microsoft so kind of keep that in mind these stocks will um, being the big tech giants can certainly be market moving they can change direction of the market in about half a heartbeat and they can um, enforce trends or break down trends really really quickly so um, watch those carefully after the bell we also have 3m reporting today and I did make the decision to close my 3M trade yesterday ahead of earnings. And at least at this pre-market activity, I'm kind of glad I did. Um, we had a, some selling yesterday and we are pushing down here this morning on that earnings report. So um, keep a close eye on that. I'm not saying 3M is a bad chart. It's been in a very bullish tr upside trend. Maybe watch and wait for that next um, entry point if that can pull back. Um, let's take a look at AMD. AMD will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. We've got Amgen reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye. Um, BP reported early this morning and reported better than expected and they are going to put in a big, a really big um, um, stock buyback program in the second quarter so keep a close eye on this um, BP looking very very strong trying to break this downtrend in the pre-market um, we're gonna hear from Corning uh, GLW um, keep a close eye on Corning that will be interesting today we're gonna hear from Eli Lilly we're gonna get results Woo! that's an ugly one this morning we're going to get um, results from FireEye today so keep an eye on that we've got Hasbro um, in the mix looks like Hasbro is looking a little bit lower we've got Mondelez um, in that list um, RTX is in the list looks like that one uh, got a nice result this morning trying to push higher and even Starbucks will be reporting today so keep a close eye we've got a lot of reports visa ups um, it it's a big day of earnings reports and it's only going to get more extreme from here and ramp up to thursday with well over 200 companies reporting so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you feel that the video was worthy in helping you prepare for the day 
please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, the channel keeps growing and I am humbled every day by the kind words uh, that you guys uh, post. And thank you so much. I, I never in my wildest dreams would have expected there would have been such a desire for content like this that removes all the hype and drama and just really looks at the technicals. And thank you, everyone. And please do me a favor, if you feel that um, the videos are worthy, worthy, please share those out there on your social media feed. It helps the channel continue to grow. And last but not least, I want to say a big thank you to those who are utilizing the Buy Me A Coffee link below the title of the video um, to support the channel. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you need to do your own due diligence. You need to be following your own rules and making sure that you understand the risk of every single trade that you tra take. Never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at Pfizer. Now, I'm, I've been watching Pfizer here now. I had a really beautiful upside trade here in Pfizer. And uh, uh, just an amazing uh, move up here. Now, take a look at uh, this resistance break. We broke through that resistance, and now we're trying to rest in here. So what I did yesterday is I actually placed a price alert here on Pfizer. You can see we're popping and dropping this morning, but I'm, I'm in no rush on this chart. A um, little bit more rest, a little bit more consolidation in here to kind of come over here and engage that trend. That's what I'm looking for in that chart. Um, keep a close eye. Um, Pfizer may be looking pretty good. Take a look at Dell. Dell computer, I mean, Dell's looking very, very good here um, and looking nice and strong. You can see holding in a beautiful upside trend. Nice big pop. We had this nice little resting pattern coming into play. I think a little rest out here toward that trend um, would be great, but I put an alert in here just in case that decides to go early. Keep a close eye on Dell. Nice little chart. I am also keeping a very close eye on silver and gold. Now, I have a little bit of a bias here. In my long-term portfolio, I've been picking up some silver, um, not only uh, the silver ETF, but um, uh, been buying physical silver as well. I personally believe that all of this money spending will eventually um, all this deficit spending will eventually have massive impacts to our economy. And I think, and I, again, it's a bias, so be careful. Make sure you're paying attention to the price action in the chart. But I got to tell you, I think this is a pretty bullish setup in here. We just need a little bit of inspiration to push on through. So I may be looking for some upside here in silver and adding to that trade. And then um, looking at gold, um, GLD, looking pretty good. This is a very, very bullish pattern. And by the way, um, holding this price support after breaking through this resistance, holding this price support, holding this trend, and that opportunity that this could be ready to push on higher. Now, please keep in mind, this is also in a pattern that we uh, call the rounded bottom breakout. And it's a very, very good pattern. Um, one that produces over and over and over a very strong results. So keep a close eye on this. Um, GLD looking pretty darn good. Then let's take a look at um, a couple others, uh, one being rather speculative, um, NKLA. Um, NKLA has been kind of one of those flavors of the year here, you know, where we get lots and lots of energy in it. Well, certainly it has been selling off pretty pretty strong here. And although we've broken this downtrend, I'm still waiting for a little bit more proof in here, but I did place an alert on this chart. It may be possible I could pick up a little bit of NKLA here on this move, but watch that closely. I'm going to have to put NIO in that list as well. Notice NIO kind of breaking this downtrend in the chart. What I like about this right now is that it's broke above this price resistance. So now any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity, gives me that first little higher low and that possible resumption of a trend. So keep an eye on that. Now, 
with all of these reports, guys, we're going to have to be very, very focused on the fact of earnings. Keep a, keep an eye on that. Earnings are going to be on the 29th. You may want to wait. Don't chase these trades. Don't rush into these trades. Make sure you're paying attention to those earnings reports. Let's take a look at uh, Masco. Now, Masco had a, kind of an ugly day yesterday, but this is one of those stocks that could do pretty darn well um, depending on how we progress with infrastructure. And so keep a close eye on that. Masco um, had a little bit of a shot to the downside yesterday, but I think it's still worth keeping an eye on. And then um, you guys know that um, I was uh, mentioned that I was in MT. Um, MT pushed up nicely yesterday. I ended up taking some quick profits on that trade. Nice little profit. Um, in a quick move and um, now we're pulling back this morning but let's keep an eye on some of these steel stocks um, um, breaking through this resistance a rest or pullback is not out of the question and there could be another opportunity coming into that trade and take a look at like CLF CLF had a good day yesterday breaking through some resistance in the chart any rest or pullback moving out here toward trend sets up an opportunity. And even stocks like um, US Steel had a good day yesterday, breaking through a resistance level. Now let's make it prove. Prove that you're gonna hold it this time instead of just pushing up there and failing again. Prove that you can hold it, and then there may be an upside opportunity in that trade. So keep a close eye on U.S. Steel. Um, last but not least, guys, I want to suggest that everyone just be a little bit careful and cautious. Um, there is a lot of volatility that could, we could experience over the next few days. So be careful not to overtrade. Be careful not to chase a stock that's already well extended. You know, one of the things I see as a major mistake I, I, I work with a lot of traders around the country um, with individual coaching and one of the mistakes that repeats over and over and over and it was one of my major problems in my trading is I was always chasing the white candles and I wasn't considering the risk of that chase. So keep in mind that when we extend this far from a, um, a low that this creates a lot of risk for that potential pullback to occur. Wait for the, that pullback. Don't chase these trades. Wait for them to set up that nice low risk entry trade. You'll have better results and you'll see, um, um, well, you'll just honestly enjoy your trading a lot more because it doesn't require that element of buy and hope or prediction. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you great results in your trading and we'll see you all right back here, bright and early. Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.